Okay, hello. This is Susan, and I want to do my first video here today. This is not an instructional video, but just to share something I made um, with you. So, this is the second try because the first try, whoops, it's a little hard. Um, anyway, this is a two by two. Um, little gift book for my cousin Pat. Um, it's a very simple binding, two holes. I use um, embroidery thread. I like to use embroidery thread for uh, binding sometimes because I can have different colors, although I used white here. And I run it through a piece of wax to hold the um, embroidery thread. It has a number of threads in it so that holds it together so you can put it through the needle. Okay, so the cover is probably the only crafty thing. The rest is rather mundane. But for the cover, I used some of my um, <coughs> tissue paper, two pieces of tissue paper with flowers or leaves or whatever you want embedded in it. Uh, this is another piece. And then you can paint the paper. This is just not painted very much but and you and I use wax uh, pastels to further decorate the paper so for the interior cover or for the end papers two end papers which are actually glued to the cover in this case I scanned this my mother made the lion family tree. She hand printed it out. It's fairly large. And so I scanned a portion of that for the end paper because the lion family is how I'm connected to my cousin. Then my mother had also taken a photo uh, at the lion family cemetery, which is in Easton, Connecticut. So I used that there. Blank. <laughs> this is a difficult setup. For the inside, now I didn't, this is why I say it's mundane, I didn't do a lot, any decorating there. But um, for these little pictures, my grandmother, Lion, had this cute little photo thing that I inherited from my mother. And I don't know who that is, I don't know who some of them are, but that's my grandmother. So I took some photos out of there and I scanned them. And that's how we got the interior cover. I mean the interior, excuse me, the interior pictures. So here's my great-grandmother Susan Bidette, who is also Pat's great-grandmother. My grandmother Lion. I don't know, that's what I called her. I don't know really what Pat called her as, as a child. Here's Pat's mother, Eva. And Pat's father, Arthur La, Liber La, La, La Liberty. And Pat is a child, and her father died when, quite early, um, when she was quite young. And from another series of photos, there's Eva as a child, and here's Pat as a young woman. And then I kind of just go through my family, because here's my mother, who was Eva's sister, and my dad, and my brother and myself, and then just the final page. So it's not... Anything elaborate? Oh, I did want to say that when I scanned the photos, I just scanned them onto computer paper. But I also tried scanning them onto vellum, which is really, I love the photos on vellum, actually. But I didn't, for some reason, didn't want to use them in this book. I wanted to use this. They sort of come out clearer, in a way, on computer paper, but... Excuse me. <laughs> Great. I have used the ones I did on vellum in another project. So I will take this and put it in this little envelope. And I will have a lovely little gift for my cousin. Now for years, I, I did not communicate with my cousin since we were ch children. And so... A number of years back when my mom, when her mom died, I think, or when my mom died, I wrote to Pat 
And it took a couple years for her to kind of respond, but finally she did. And I, I often sent her little gifts like this in when I wrote to her at Christmas. And so she started sending me um, crocheted little crocheted snowflakes. And I have to say the Lion family women um, were big crocheters. Here are some other ones that Patty sent me, and in fact were prize winning crocheters. I myself cannot crochet or knit or anything like that. Now my mother did not crochet, but she did lots of other uh, handwork, knitting and sewing. Um, and then my grandma Lion, I have lovely placemats that she crocheted. So that's my video for today. Um, thank you very much for wa watching, and if you have suggestions, this is how I could do the video a little better. I'm happy to take them. I do have the camera mounted on my son's um, tripod, but that also makes it kind of awkward for me to get, you know, get in front and demonstrate. I don't know how people do it. Um, but anyway, this is my first try, so happy to have suggestions. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.